On a hot afternoon, two men walked into Uncle Ahmed's workshop, carrying a broken gear that had snapped off its shaft. The condition was miserable, like a relic ready to be tossed into the scrapyard. Uncle Ahmed took one look at it and sighed. Fixing this with glue was impossible, and simply grinding it down wouldn't be accurate enough. Instead, he prepared the fracture by adding layers of weld. The factory's balance holes were sealed tight, and both the outer shaft and the inner gear surface were built up with welds so their thickness matched again. This way, even though the crack wasn't perfectly clean, the shaft could still stay centered. With skill level 8, Uncle Ahmed brought the shaft and gear back together, but the rough welds had to be machined smooth on the lathe. He carefully shaved the surface, stopping often to measure again and again with his caliper. Once the outer diameter matched the specification, he processed the shaft side to match. When the fit was just right, he joined both parts. But it was so precise that he had to give it a few gentle taps with his ancient hammer, the kind of hammer that, if you lent it to an American construction site, would probably end up on eBay as an antique tool. <clears throat> the two parts were locked together again with heavy welds. Ten full rods were consumed to close the fracture completely. Now, the problem was that the extra weld made the gear unbalanced, so back on the lathe it went, shaving off excess until the surface was perfectly round again. Balancing required patience and precision, not just brute force. Finally, he restored the balance holes. Without fancy tools, Uncle Ahmed just used a paper stencil to mark the exact positions. Simple, but accurate. Meanwhile, in some high-tech labs, they'd probably use lasers, sensors, and a million-dollar budget, only to end up slower than Uncle Ahmed with a piece of paper. The holes were drilled step by step, starting with a small bit to guide the larger ones. With all three balance holes recreated, the broken gear was officially whole again. And that's how a broken gear comes back to life. Ten rods of weld, endless measuring, and a lot of patience. If only fixing human relationships were this simple. Just add some weld, turn the lathe, and boom! Perfectly balanced again.